And out of that investigation into a deadly Tesla crash in California, the driver was killed when his car smashed into a highway barrier after being set on autopilot. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with the details. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George. Good morning. And this morning, the automaker says the driver had his hands off the wheel for six seconds, but the man's family says he complained about an autopilot problem before that accident. All of it now raising questions. This morning, Tesla releasing new information about a deadly crash involving one of its cars it says was in autopilot mode. The driver, Walter Huang, was heading to work at Apple in Northern California last week when his $80,000 Tesla slammed into this barrier. Now, Tesla says the car sent him several warnings to put his hands on the wheel earlier in the drive and that his hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision. Huang's brother telling ABC station KGO that the 38 year old engineer had complained seven to ten times that the car would swivel toward that same exact barrier during autopilot. Walter took it into the dealership addressing the issue, but they couldn't duplicate it there. That information has been received by the CHP and they've been acting on it for some time now. Tesla telling us overnight it has no record of Huang complaining to the company about the autopilot mode, but it did find a complaint about Huang's navigation system, which the car maker says is unrelated. Related to autopilot. Tesla also saying its drivers make more than 200 successful autopilot trips per day on this exact stretch of road and that the accident was so severe because the barrier had been crushed in a previous accident and not repaired. This crash comes just weeks after this Volvo, used as one of Uber's self-driving test cars, hit and killed a pedestrian in Arizona. The rideshare company has now halted that test program. And the NTSB now says it's unhappy with Tesla's release of investigative information, but that it's looking at all aspects of this crash, including the driver's previous complaints. It could take a few weeks before we see the preliminary findings of that investigation. Yeah, a lot more to learn about all this. Okay, yeah. Gio, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.